All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's bucket time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would, and he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind.
Just as Stanley was about to proceed further into the mind control facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, which safely cushioned his fall. Now, what to do next, Stanley wondered. Stanley and the bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. So they set up a little couch and relaxed. It really wasn't so bad down here, a bit cold perhaps. After some time had gone by, they installed a few shelves as well, and a sort of kitchenette that was useful for when the bucket was craving paninias. But it wasn't until the rugs and the standing lamps came in that it really started to feel like a home. In fact, after some time, Stanley realized that it had been ages since he had even thought of the mind control facility at all. He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there, never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mind control facility. This lack of closure began to eat at him. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn and neglected the cleaning. It unsettled the bucket deeply. Stanley wasn't usually like this. The bucket tried to reach out to him again and again, but to no avail. All Stanley could think about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path. It was a mistake to leave the path. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. This made no sense at all to the bucket, which was simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. The bucket sighed. True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. It's what the bucket was counting on. The two of them waited for a very long time. 